What do you wear to bed? Underwear. Nothing. Rumors are circulating and the FBI has just confirmed what many have feared. A secret list is circulating among Hollywood's elite, those tied to Diddy arrest, and they're scrambling to flee the country. One name stands out among the high-profile figures attempting to escape the grip of U.S. authorities, Ellen DeGeneres. With rumors of others like Jay-Z making similar moves, Ellen's sudden flight to a non-extradition country has left everyone asking, what do these celebrities know and what are they running from? Hollywood under scrutiny, a new reality for the elite. The allegations against Diddy, combined with the circulating rumors of a Diddy's list, have cast a shadow over Hollywood's elite circles. While some celebrities are trying to quietly distance themselves from Diddy, others are finding it difficult to avoid public scrutiny. In the age of social media, where every tweet, photo, and interview can be dissected and re-examined, it's nearly impossible to escape the court of public opinion. As the investigation into Diddy's activities continues, many are wondering if this scandal could lead to a larger unraveling within the entertainment industry. Will other high-profile figures be implicated? Could this be the beginning of a new era of transparency and accountability for Hollywood's elite? For now, the answers to these questions remain unclear. What is clear, however, is that Diddy's arrest and the rumors surrounding the Diddy's list have changed the way people view certain celebrity friendships, including that of Ellen DeGeneres. Whether or not more revelations will come to light remains to be seen, but one thing is certain. The Internet is watching, and no one in Hollywood is immune from its gaze. The emergence of this alleged list came shortly after Diddy's indictment and instantly became a trending topic. Despite the lack of official confirmation regarding its existence, speculation ran rampant. Social media users claimed that numerous celebrities, spanning actors, musicians, and influential figures in television, were listed as being tied to Diddy's activities. What made this list particularly shocking was that several beloved public figures were rumored to be included. Among the most surprising was talk show host Ellen DeGeneres, a longtime friend of Diddy. The internet, fueled by gossip and speculation, quickly jumped on this connection. Although there was no concrete evidence linking Ellen to any criminal activities, her friendship with Diddy came under scrutiny, leading many to wonder if there was more to their relationship than met the eye. Many stars have taken to social media to delete old posts and photos that could tie them to Diddy. Some have even gone so far as to erase tweets that reference him in any way. This scramble to remove digital traces of their connections to Diddy only further fuels speculation that this scandal may be far-reaching. Ellen DeGeneres, a friendship under scrutiny. Ellen DeGeneres, known for her hit daytime talk show, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, has enjoyed a long-standing friendship with Diddy. Over the years, he made several guest appearances on her show where their interactions were consistently lighthearted and fun. Whether they were joking about attending each other's parties or engaging in playful banter, the public viewed their relationship as nothing more than a friendly bond between two celebrities. However, in light of Diddy's arrest and the rumors swirling around the Diddy's list, people are now re-evaluating those interactions. One particularly notable moment that resurfaced was a birthday tweet Ellen posted to Diddy in 2016. In the tweet, Ellen referred to him with the playful nickname Cuddle MC Snuggle Stuff. At the time, this seemed like a typical Ellenism, just one of her many quirky nicknames for friends. But now, with Diddy facing serious charges, this seemingly innocent tweet has taken on a more ominous tone for many online. Social media users quickly latched onto the tweet, with some suggesting that Ellen might have been more involved in Diddy's activities than anyone previously thought. Although no evidence has surfaced to support such claims, the Internet has been relentless in speculating about the nature of their friendship. With no response from Ellen regarding the resurfaced tweet, public scrutiny continues to grow.
the internet has played a pivotal role in how Diddy's scandal has been perceived. Clips of Diddy's appearances on The Ellen DeGeneres Show have resurfaced on TikTok and Twitter, prompting viewers to take a second look at moments that once seemed lighthearted. One such clip shows Ellen playfully teasing Diddy about always being late to her parties. While this exchange was seen as humorous at the time, it is now being re-examined through the lens of Diddy's legal troubles. What once seemed like harmless banter now raises questions about the nature of these Hollywood gatherings. In addition to these TV clips, old photos of Ellen and Diddy at various events have also resurfaced. Some internet users have drawn speculative connections between their friendship and Diddy's alleged activities. Conspiracy theories have emerged, suggesting that Ellen and others may have been more deeply involved in Diddy's life than previously thought. While these theories remain unverified, the Internet's power to amplify them has been undeniable. The resurgence of these moments has led to countless discussions online, with memes and viral posts adding fuel to the fire. Despite the lack of any verified evidence linking Ellen to wrongdoing, social media has a way of shaping public perception, sometimes based purely on conjecture. In this case, Ellen's silence has only stoked the flames, leaving fans and critics to wonder why she has not spoken out about the scandal. Ellen DeGeneres was known for hosting some of the most glamorous parties in Hollywood, attracting A-list celebrities, including Diddy himself. On multiple occasions, Ellen joked on her show about how Diddy would always arrive late to her parties, but once he showed up, the real fun would begin. While these jokes were harmless and playful at the time, they have taken on new meaning in light of Diddy's legal troubles. As the investigation into Diddy's activities continues, rumors have started swirling about what really happened at these exclusive Hollywood events. Some reports suggest that these parties, while appearing to be casual celebrity gatherings, may have involved activities that were far from innocent. Online discussions have speculated about whether Ellen was aware of Diddy's alleged misconduct during their long-standing friendship. Again, it's important to note that there is no concrete evidence linking Ellen or her parties to any illegal activities. However, the Internet's capacity to connect dots whether real or imagined, has led to widespread speculation. Conspiracy theorists have seized upon the idea that Ellen's Hollywood parties may have played a larger role in Diddy's downfall than initially thought. In a 2018 episode of The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Ellen had a memorable conversation with Diddy about his behavior at parties, teasing him for always being fashionably late. She joked that the party truly started once Diddy arrived, and he responded playfully, promising that her next event would be unforgettable. At the time, this interaction seemed like harmless banter. Ellen's show was known for its lighthearted tone, and Diddy's reputation as a party icon added to the fun of the conversation. However, in the wake of Diddy's current legal situation, the context of this interaction has changed. With rumors swirling about Diddy's personal life and allegations of misconduct at his own parties, the innocent party banter from that episode now seems more complex. Many are wondering if there was more happening behind the scenes at these events, including Ellen's famous parties, which also attracted A-list celebrities. The Internet has been abuzz with theories about Hollywood's elite social circles and high-profile figures like Ellen are at the center of this speculation. Some believe that these exclusive gatherings, whether hosted by Ellen or Diddy, may have been more than just glamorous networking events. According to these rumors, there could have been inappropriate behavior taking place at some of these parties under the guise of innocent fun. While these claims remain speculative, the sheer volume of online discussions has kept them in the spotlight. Ellen's long-standing friendship with Diddy has become a focal point for conspiracy theorists. Despite the lack of solid evidence, the association alone is enough to fuel theories. The Internet's ability to magnify these stories has created a wave of speculation that keeps resurfacing. Could Ellen's involvement be more than just attending and hosting parties? 
While these questions remain unanswered, the public curiosity around her connection to Diddy is undeniable. As Diddy's legal case unfolds, one of the most pressing questions is whether Ellen could face any legal repercussions due to her connection to him. Diddy is facing serious charges related to misconduct, and investigations into such cases often have a far-reaching scope. While there is no suggestion that Ellen was involved in any illegal activity, her proximity to Diddy in social settings could potentially draw her into the conversation. Prosecutors building a case around a high-profile figure like Diddy may look at his broader network, including those who were close to him over the years. Ellen's friendship with Diddy spans many years and includes numerous public interactions, both on her show and at social events. While her involvement appears to be purely social, some legal experts have pointed out that even casual connections can come under scrutiny in cases like this. The focus of investigations often expands to include those in the suspect's network, whether or not they were directly involved in any wrongdoing. Given that Ellen has already faced significant public backlash in the past, most notably the allegations of a toxic workplace on her talk show, her association with Diddy could further damage her public image. In 2020, these workplace allegations led to a steep decline in the show's ratings and Ellen's favorability among viewers. Now with her name being mentioned in connection with Diddy's case, she could find herself in yet another public relations battle. Even if Ellen does not face any legal consequences from Diddy's case, the impact on her public image could be significant. Since 2020, Ellen has struggled to rebuild her reputation after the fallout from the toxic workplace allegations. While she addressed these issues publicly and made efforts to improve the work environment on her show, the damage was done and many viewers distanced themselves from her. With the end of the Ellen DeGeneres show in 2022, Ellen began working on rebranding herself. She released a stand-up special on Netflix and hinted at other projects, attempting to move past the controversies of her daytime television career. However, her connection to Diddy could complicate these efforts. The public's perception of her may suffer, especially if she continues to remain silent on the matter. In today's era of cancel culture, celebrities are expected to quickly address controversies or risk losing the support of their fans. For Ellen, her continued silence regarding her friendship with Diddy has raised eyebrows. Some fans feel that she should publicly distance herself from Diddy, given the serious nature of the allegations against him. Others believe her silence is an attempt to avoid further controversy, which in turn has led to more speculation. Social media has played a pivotal role in how the public perceives Ellen's connection to Diddy. Platforms like Twitter and Instagram have been flooded with comments, memes, and videos dissecting every interaction between the two. Clips from the Ellen DeGeneres show featuring Diddy have been re-shared, with users pointing out how seemingly lighthearted moments now take on a different tone. One such clip that has gained attention is the aforementioned 2018 episode where Ellen teased Diddy about his party behavior. What was once seen as a funny exchange now feels more ominous in light of the current allegations. Viewers have started to question whether Ellen knew more about Diddy's activities than she let on. While there is no proof to support this, the power of social media to amplify rumors has made these questions persist. In addition to old show clips, photos of Ellen and Diddy from various Hollywood events have also resurfaced. These images have fueled online discussions, with some users speculating that their friendship may have been more complex than it appeared. Once again, there is no evidence to substantiate these claims, but the constant circulation of these images and stories has kept the conversation alive. How this could affect Ellen's career. As Ellen's association with Diddy continues to be discussed, it could have long-term effects on her career. While her talk show has ended, Ellen still holds a prominent place in the entertainment world, and she has been exploring new ventures. However, any momentum she gains in rebuilding her brand could be hampered by this latest controversy. The longer Ellen remains silent, 
the more speculation will grow. In an era where public figures are expected to be transparent about their actions and relationships, staying quiet may only add to the perception that she has something to hide. Her brand, once seen as friendly and approachable, has already been tarnished by past controversies. This new association with Diddy could further erode the trust she built with her audience over the years. The stakes are high for Ellen, not just legally but socially. Even if she avoids any legal fallout from Diddy's case, the damage to her reputation may be harder to overcome. The public's interest in this scandal shows no signs of slowing down, and how Ellen navigates this challenging chapter of her life will likely shape the future of her career. As the speculation intensifies, Ellen may need to take strategic steps to distance herself from the controversy and protect her career. One possible way Ellen could address the situation is by releasing a public statement clarifying her relationship with Diddy. By openly addressing their friendship and emphasizing that she had no knowledge of any inappropriate behavior, Ellen could potentially regain some public trust. Denouncing any illegal activity Diddy is being investigated for might also help her dissociate herself from his actions. Another approach she could consider is being more selective in her public appearances and partnerships moving forward. This would involve ensuring that she avoids any connections with controversial figures, including Diddy, to prevent further damage to her reputation. Experts believe that taking swift and decisive action could limit the fallout and allow her to maintain a degree of credibility. However, waiting too long to address the issue could make matters worse. The Internet is a breeding ground for rumors, and prolonged silence could allow speculation to spiral further, making it increasingly difficult for Ellen to recover her standing. Her future career trajectory may depend heavily on how quickly and effectively she responds to the controversy. History has shown that some celebrities have managed to recover from scandals, while others have not been so fortunate. For example, athletes like Tiger Woods, who faced significant personal scandals, were able to rebuild their careers and regain public favor. In contrast, figures like Lance Armstrong, who was involved in a major doping scandal, never fully recovered from the damage done to his reputation. In Ellen's case, the outcome will largely depend on how she navigates the next few months. If she can successfully distance herself from Diddy and demonstrate that she remains a trustworthy public figure, she may have a chance to rebuild her brand. However, if she fails to act or handle the situation poorly, it could mark the end of her time in the spotlight. The next step she takes will determine whether her career survives or if this will be a lasting stain on her public image. Speculation and conspiracy theories surrounding Hollywood's elite, one of the most persistent topics of conversation surrounding Ellen and Diddy's friendship, the conspiracy theories linking them to secretive Hollywood circles. The Internet is rife with speculation that the high-profile parties thrown by figures like Diddy and Ellen are more than just glamorous social gatherings. Some believe these events are covert meetings where Hollywood's elite engage in inappropriate or secretive behavior shielded from the public by their wealth and influence. Although these claims remain speculative, they have gained traction online where rumors often blend with reality. Many internet users question whether these events are simply innocent parties or something more. These theories have been fueled by the Internet's ability to make connections between celebrities and their social circles, often leading people to question the true nature of these gatherings. Ellen and Diddy's long-standing friendship is being dissected by conspiracy theorists who argue that their relationship might indicate deeper involvement in the activities surrounding Hollywood's elite. Theories have been circulating on social media suggesting that there may be more to their friendship than meets the eye. Although there is no concrete evidence to support these claims, the sheer volume of speculation online has kept the narrative alive. Platforms such as TikTok, Twitter, and Reddit are the primary sources of these conspiracy theories, where users create and share videos, posts, and threads analyzing every detail of Ellen and Diddy's past interactions. 
clips from interviews, episodes of The Ellen DeGeneres Show, and photos from Hollywood events are being revisited and scrutinized for supposed hidden clues. These users often interpret body language and small details as proof of larger hidden connections between the two celebrities. While many of these theories seem far-fetched, they often gain significant traction, with some posts garnering millions of views and likes. The more people engage with this content, the more it spreads, blurring the line between fact and speculation. As the posts become more viral, the possibility of misinformation being accepted as truth increases. Given the speed with which social media can shape public opinion, Ellen will need to be strategic in how she handles this situation moving forward. The more people talk about her connection to Diddy, the more her silence becomes problematic. If she continues to avoid addressing the issue, she risks losing even more support from her fans. On the other hand, a well-timed and thoughtful response could help Ellen regain some of her credibility. By clarifying her relationship with Diddy and distancing herself from the rumors, she might be able to shift public focus away from the speculation and back toward her career. However, she will need to act soon as the longer the rumors persist, the harder it will be for her to control the narrative. As Ellen's name continues to be linked to Diddy's scandal, her reputation remains at stake. Whether or not she can overcome this latest challenge will depend on how she chooses to respond in the coming weeks. Social media will undoubtedly play a crucial role in determining the outcome, as the court of public opinion is often just as influential as the facts themselves. The growing parallels between Diddy and Epstein In recent months, Conspiracy theories linking Sean Diddy Combs to Jeffrey Epstein have gained considerable traction. Both men have been accused of leveraging their wealth, influence, and vast social circles to exploit vulnerable individuals. These accusations, combined with their high-profile connections, have led many to draw striking comparisons between the two cases. At the core of the speculation are the eerie similarities between the accusations against Diddy and those brought against Epstein. While the specifics of their alleged activities differ, both men are said to have used their power to manipulate and exploit individuals. Epstein's notorious private parties held on his secluded island involved underage girls and raised allegations of widespread exploitation. Although Diddy's actions are not linked to the same international scale, he has been accused of hosting events known as freak-off parties, where rumors suggest manipulation and inappropriate behavior were rampant. Some theorists argue that Diddy's parties, while smaller in scope, reflected the same power dynamics and exploitation that Epstein's gatherings did. Both men allegedly surrounded themselves with powerful individuals who either ignored the concerning behavior or took part in it. The secrecy surrounding their events and the influential guests involved have only fueled these conspiracy theories further, raising questions about how much is still hidden from public view. One of the most persistent theories focuses on the idea of an elite social network, where powerful figures engage in inappropriate behavior shielded by their influence and wealth. Epstein's infamous flight logs, which documented the high-profile guests who visited his island, have become a significant talking point for conspiracy theorists. While no concrete evidence has surfaced to suggest that Diddy visited Epstein's island, the parallels between their alleged activities continue to raise questions in the public eye. Many people are asking, could Diddy have been part of a larger network similar to Epstein's? As of now, there is no verified proof connecting Diddy directly to Epstein's operations, but rumors have nonetheless taken hold. Some theorists even argue that Diddy's legal troubles are a result of attempting to cover up connections to a more sinister, far-reaching network, a network that echoes the hidden and disturbing activities Epstein is believed to have orchestrated before his arrest. A particularly gripping theory that has emerged from these parallels is the idea that both Epstein and Diddy may have run blackmail operations, using their parties as fronts to capture material on powerful guests. 
Epstein's gatherings have long been rumored to have involved hidden cameras and secret recordings, with the suggestion that this material was used to control or influence high-profile individuals. Similarly, some conspiracy theorists believe that Diddy's freak-off parties were not merely social gatherings, but elaborate traps designed to gather compromising information. According to these speculations, guests at Diddy's parties were unknowingly recorded while engaging in illicit activities, giving Diddy potential leverage over them for future business deals, political favors, or as insurance to keep their loyalty. While these claims are rooted in speculation and lack concrete evidence, the parallels with Epstein's known blackmail practices have only added fuel to the fire. This theory has led to further speculation could Diddy's recent legal troubles be connected to efforts by other powerful figures to cover up their involvement in similar activities? As more information emerges, these theories continue to gain momentum, drawing ever more comparisons between Diddy's situation and the shadowy world that Epstein was accused of operating within. As the conspiracy theories surrounding Diddy deepen, concerns about his safety while in jail have become a hot topic of discussion. The parallels between Diddy's situation and that of Jeffrey Epstein, who died in custody in 2019, have led to rampant speculation about whether Diddy could face similar risks while incarcerated. Jeffrey Epstein's passing in the Metropolitan Correctional Center, MCC in Manhattan, was officially ruled as self-inflicted, but many believe foul play may have been involved. Epstein, who was facing serious allegations involving the exploitation of young individuals, had connections across politics, finance, and entertainment. The widespread belief that Epstein was silenced to protect others involved in his criminal activities has persisted since his passing. The fact that Epstein was on watch yet not adequately monitored only fueled public distrust in the official narrative. Fast forward to 2024, and Diddy finds himself facing similar accusations of misconduct. After his arrest, he was placed in the Metropolitan Detention Center, MDC, in Brooklyn, a facility notorious for its harsh conditions and previous incidents of inmates taking their own lives. Given the parallels to Epstein's case, conspiracy theorists have raised concerns that Diddy might be at risk of being silenced while awaiting trial. The internet has even coined the term Epstein to describe the potential danger Diddy faces in custody. Safety measures for Diddy in custody. Since Diddy's arrest, there has been widespread concern for his safety while he remains incarcerated. The MDC, where Diddy is being held, has been the subject of numerous criticisms over the years, with former inmates and critics describing the conditions as harsh and dangerous. Reports of overcrowding, violence, and frequent lockdowns have painted a bleak picture of life inside the facility. In response to these concerns, Diddy has been placed on close watch to ensure his safety. This includes being housed in a special housing unit SHU, a section of the facility designed to offer enhanced protection for inmates who are at risk. Diddy is being kept isolated from the general inmate population and monitored around the clock by prison staff to prevent any incidents. To further safeguard his well-being, Diddy is subject to constant video surveillance with prison staff conducting regular checks. He is also required to wear a safety garment often called a safety smock, which is designed to prevent any attempts to harm oneself. These precautions are similar to those taken with other high-profile inmates facing serious charges and are seen as necessary measures given the global attention surrounding Diddy's case. However, despite these efforts, the Metropolitan Detention Center has a troubled history. Former inmates have described the facility as hell on earth, and recent reports detail overcrowding, frequent violence, and a lack of basic services. There have been several unfortunate incidents within the facility in recent years, raising questions about whether the MDC is truly equipped to prevent another incident like Epstein's. The similarities between Diddy's and Epstein's situations are hard to ignore. 
Both were held in facilities known for their poor conditions, and both cases have raised concerns about the safety of high-profile inmates in these environments. In Epstein's case, the mishandling of his watch and the circumstances surrounding his passing created a lasting wave of public distrust. Many believe that Epstein was deliberately silenced to prevent him from exposing others. With Diddy now facing serious allegations, conspiracy theorists are drawing even more connections between the two cases. Some argue that Diddy could be at risk of suffering a similar fate, especially given his own ties to powerful individuals. Despite the precautions being taken, the concern remains that the MDC may not be able to guarantee Diddy's safety while he awaits trial. The global attention surrounding Diddy's case, combined with the facility's history of violence and lack of proper oversight, has made his incarceration a focal point for conspiracy theorists. As the world watches to see how Diddy's case unfolds, many are left wondering if more parallels between his situation and Epstein's will emerge in the coming months. Diddy and Bieber's Relationship Under Scrutiny Ellen and Diddy's relationship is not the only relationship under scrutiny. The bond between Sean Diddy Combs and Justin Bieber is also under scrutiny. This relationship, which began when Bieber was just a teenager, has sparked renewed attention. When Bieber was just 15 years old, he was frequently seen spending time with Diddy, who was over 40 at the time. One of the most talked about moments is a resurfaced video from 2009 where Diddy jokes about having custody of Bieber for 48 hours. At the time, this interaction seemed playful. But in light of the recent allegations against Diddy, fans are revisiting these moments with growing concern. In the 2009 clip, Diddy makes cryptic comments about spending time with Bieber, which many now find unsettling. As an established figure in the entertainment industry, Diddy's casual reference to Bieber being in his custody has raised serious questions, particularly as new accusations surface. Furthermore, a 2016 video has also resurfaced, showing Bieber appearing uncomfortable as Diddy speaks about plans to go out and meet women, which has only added to the growing unease. These resurfaced clips have sparked swift reactions from fans and media alike, particularly on social media platforms like X, where users have voiced their shock. Some are openly wondering why no one stepped in to protect a young Bieber from being in situations with much older individuals. The apparent discomfort shown by Bieber in these clips has intensified concerns, with many questioning the nature of his relationship with Diddy and whether Bieber may have been taken advantage of during these years. Despite the growing conversation, Justin Bieber has remained silent on the issue. Sources close to Bieber indicate that he is focused on his personal life, especially after recently becoming a father. However, his silence has only fueled speculation, with fans wondering if there is more to the story. Bieber has previously spoken about his traumatic experiences in the music industry, leading many to question whether his decision to remain quiet is a way of protecting his mental health or distancing himself from Diddy's legal issues. Diddy's legal troubles escalated in September 2024, when he was formally charged with running an unlawful operation. The charges were the result of a lengthy investigation that began in 2023 following a lawsuit filed by Cassie Ventura, Diddy's former girlfriend. She accused him of years of mistreatment. During the investigation, federal agents raided Diddy's properties in both Beverly Hills and Miami, discovering evidence that allegedly tied him to a broader network of exploitation. A growing number of testimonies have since emerged, with several individuals coming forward to describe their experiences. Some claim they were forced into attending exclusive parties, which allegedly involved inappropriate activities. The testimonies have shed light on what some describe as a culture of manipulation fostered within Diddy's inner circle. Even more troubling, male workers have also come forward, complicating the case further with their accounts which point to a systematic form of control affecting both men and women. Diddy's arrest has sparked wider conversations within the entertainment industry, with many comparing the fallout to the Hash Me Too movement that rocked Hollywood.
As more testimonies come to light, critics argue that Diddy's case is just the beginning of a larger reckoning within the music industry. The power dynamics that have allowed certain individuals to operate unchecked for years are now being exposed, with some speculating that other high-profile figures may soon be implicated. As legal proceedings continue, many in the industry are watching closely to see what impact this case will have on future accountability. Some argue that the entertainment world, much like Hollywood, during the Hash Me Too movement is finally confronting the systemic issues that have long been overlooked. As the case continues to unfold, more revelations are expected and the entertainment industry is bracing for the potential fallout from new testimonies. Diddy's legal troubles may only be the beginning as the broader implications of this case continue to ripple through the music world.